Zach. I'm Thomas. I'm Amy. This and is our uh, automatic guitar tuner project. Of our, of our project is the, the circuit. And so there's essentially two ways we could approach this. We could approach this from a programming viewpoint or a circuit viewpoint, and we chose the circuit viewpoint. So what we did is instead of feeding the guitar signal into the Arduino directly, we filtered it, ran it through an IC called a frequency to voltage converter, and then ran that to the Arduino because it's a lot easier for it to read a DC voltage than uh, a changing uh, sine wave. So what we did is we needed to first filter out everything coming from the, the guitar. And so a guitar string has a fundamental frequency, but it also has a lot of uh, harmonics in there. So the string we were interested in was the low E string, which has a fundamental frequency of about 82.4 hertz, but it has harmonics only up to about 130 and higher. So if you ran that directly into the voltage converter, you would get a lot of uh, sporadic outputs that you wouldn't be able to do much with. So what we did is we ran it through a filter, and if you look at the circuit here, this is the first part here. This is a Texas Instrument TL082 uh, dual JFET op amp. And this particular circuit we made is called a Salon key, which is actually a second order low pass filter, which uh, also gives us a little bit of gain. And we needed that gain because our frequency to voltage step here had a requirement for how much voltage minimum they could take. And so if we do not have this gain, the, the signal from the guitar would not be high enough so this would not spit anything out. So we had a gain on this of about 1.8, and so it was just very small, but it gave us just enough to get to here. Um, another thing about this circuit is that uh, it took a lot of time, a lot of tinkering with, to get it so that it would start dropping off the frequencies low enough so that they wouldn't count in this IC here. And that's, so at about 120 hertz, that's when this starts cutting it off, which is exactly what we needed. Um, and this was probably the hardest part because while the data sheet for the frequency to voltage converter stated that a DC output would be what we'd be getting, we actually didn't see that. And if you look at this diagram here, what we actually saw was kind of a sawtooth pattern where you'd get these signals going like that and then dropping down and going up and dropping down. And so this is actually an, a read straight from the serial port of the Arduino. And as you can see, you plug the guitar string, it comes up, and then it oscillates a whole bunch. And we didn't actually see that at first because we used a multimeter to pick it up. And multimeters themselves actually do some averaging. And the Arduino doesn't. So that ended up being another problem we had to take care of later. We chose a stepper motor for our project because of the accuracy and it was easier to correlate the number of steps to the uh, uh, frequency of the guitar. Um, so a number of things about this stepper motor is that we bought a, um, a drill bit that was specifically made to be mounted onto uh, guitar pegs and we mounted the drill bit with the motor using these couplers. We had to drill a little bit of holes but it fit pretty nicely. Uh, this motor is rated at 12 volts, and the torque that was uh, that's rated for is uh, 58 ounces per inch. And the way we decided on choosing this one is because uh, when we went to go check out the guitar, we tied a string around the guitar peg and we put a two pound uh, weight on the end, and that turned it pretty easily. So we assumed this would be strong, just as strong. Um, Moving on, so as for the move, uh, motor driver that we use, we use the L298, the same one we used in lab. And some problems that occurred uh, while using this was that the um, motor was outputting a lot of current, so the heat sink would heat up pretty quickly. So the way we got around that was by removing the jumpers on the enable pins. And we made sure that in the program that uh, we turned off the enable pins every time the motor wasn't turning. And it solved the problem. The, the, mo the uh, motor driver didn't really heat up as much after we did that. Alright, so the way we chose to power our project was actually just to use two different types of power supplies. So we have two 9 volt batteries that we're going to be powering our op amp, so which are connected right here. And we also used a 12 volt power supply that's regulated that also has an output frequency, uh, output uh, current of 2.92 amps which was something crucial to power our stepper motor, which required a lot of uh, current and also 12 volts. 
Um, the 12 volts powered our motor driver and our Arduino. The power supply also provided power into our power module that stepped up the voltage to 15, which powered our frequency to voltage converter. Just uh, guitar tuner works. So the first thing we do is we calibrate our system, and we chose to do this because our frequency to voltage converter um, is really dependent on the supply voltage, so any fluctuations can change it a lot. So because of that, we chose not to use a hard-coded value. So right now the guitar is in tune, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the string, which the volume's up. And so on the screen here, it's going to tell you what value it's calibrated to. So, so the system calibrated 271, and that's just an integer, integer value. Uh, that, and that's what the uh, ADC pin sees in terms of the voltage coming from the guitar. So I'm going to take my low E string and I'm going to stick it out of tune. So I twisted it way out of tune, as you can see. So now we're going to plug the string, it's going to read it in and compare it to the tune value, and then it's going to tell the stepper motor to turn based on that. So I'm going to hit the string. So I write it in and it says recorded value is 252. And so that's lower than 271, so that means the string is flat. So as you can see, it turned it uh, counterclockwise and that's putting tension on the string, so it's making it tighter, so raising that value. So I'm gonna hit the string again. So it's still slightly out of tune, it says 265, so it's still higher than our previous value, but not quite. So let's hit it one more time. 268, so almost there. One more time. And there it is, so it says the guitar is in tune. And so, if you want to cross check that, we'll stick a actual tuner on here, and I'll hit the string, and it's pretty darn close. So if I turn the pin a little bit, So there it is, pretty in tune.